Hey guys, this is Rick Uter here with Ergen Web and Ergen Web TV. And I'm Aaron the Barbarian with Ergen Web and Ergen Web TV. And we are here with the Godfather himself, Godfather of Airguns, Tom Gaylord. Tom, how you doing, my friend? Doing fine, Rick. We're at the Air Venturi booth, you. and you have got some pretty cool stuff. You're going to walk us through it today. First thing on your list, you said, Rick, we got to talk about that. Yep, the double shot. We've been waiting for this one, folks. There you go. So what do we got here? That's what it is, folks. That is sexy. A double barrel air shotgun. Okay. Got a special switch here. Fire the right barrel, switch, fire the left barrel. Excellent. Cock it for each shot. You can then, and by the way, you're loading here with a breech, which is yeah. kind of nice. Sure. Yeah. And then you got two more shots. So you got a total of four shots out of this thing. So you really got a hunting weapon now. That's pretty cool. The weight, I gotta tell you, is not that bad. Obviously, it adds a little weight. Yeah, the extra you know, barrel. Because you got the extra barrel. But the forearm is slim, so yeah. it kind of feels like a shotgun. It does seem a little bit slimmer than it. Yeah. Two, it's got two power settings, like the standard. Low and high. Does it have the double? Let's try it. I think it does. Yeah, it there does. You go. Be careful with that. <laughs> That's very cool. Aaron, take a look at that. Absolutely. Yeah, the extra barrel actually doesn't add a whole lot of weight to it. No. It's not too bad. With the slimming of the, the, the forestock, it definitely dropped the weight down to help compensate for the And the beauty of this thing is you've got shot with their shot shells that you can buy, or you can buy the empties and fill them yourself. You've got slugs. Right. And you've got air bolts. Yeah. So you've, so you've got, got three kinds of ammunition. You've got the best of both. So that's pretty In pretty two cool. barrels. Yeah. So if that isn't a hunting gun, I don't know what is. That is yeah. the epitome of a hunting gun right there. And I think you can switch over and get a second shot off very, very quickly. Very quickly. It's far better than having to do this and load it. And that's yeah. Hey, Rick, I know some jackrabbits that uh, are just itching to yeah, see this. Yeah, jackrabbits, collared dove, quail. quail. You can hunt quail in Arizona yeah. with an air gun. You know, all of that stuff would de definitely be uh, on the uh, on the plate for something like this. Sure. Oh. Put this back. Air shotguns are growing up, folks. Yeah. Absolutely. The next thing is we've got some stuff with air arms, right? Yes, we do. We have some new rifles. Now, I actually know a little bit more about this than Tom. He said, Rick, you're going to have to take take this. So let me just... I'm just seeing them for the first time right now. <laughs> yeah, so let me just real quick briefly go through. They've got a new regulated uh, ultimate sport. Okay. Yeah. The big news there is at 25 caliber, we're going to be pushing 44 foot pounds. So it's serious. Yeah, we're talking about some legitimate good hunting power to 25. And then they've got the new TDR, which has always been a favorite of mine, but now we've got a side lever instead of the rear bolt. You know? It's in the 510. So this is really, really nice. Did they regulate that one? Not, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. But, you know, okay. it's one of those things that I think they're looking to get all the 510s It, it seems like Air Arms is moving in that direction. Yeah. yeah. But this is, I mean, the weight of that, Tom. Yeah, I love the TDR. And you've got the, the permanent moderator, yes. too. So a lot it's of cool things. It's a little bit there. longer than the last TDR, but that butt stock still comes off and it goes right in your back. Sure. Sure. All right. All right, Tom, let's talk about the next thing. What is this here? Well, before I pick it up, Rick, okay. you remember the ICH-61. Right. Okay. Super, super fun gun. Everybody liked that gun. Right. It's a, uh, it's a spring piston, side lever, five-shot repeater. Right. People loved it, but unfortunately, international politics drove it out of the U.S. market. Right. They're still making them in Russia, but we can't bring them into this country. Right. I remember. So Air Venturi worked for two years to give us this, okay. the TR-5. And folks, if that ain't an IZH-61, I don't know what is. But it's got advanced features. With the IZH, you used to unscrew a thumb screw right. and you'd go down the, the tube. This thing has ratchets. It's got a special rail because everybody likes these for target shooting. Yeah. Fantastic. And it does come with sights, although this one doesn't have any. This, ha this will have peep sights. It will have peep sights, yeah. yeah. So you're talking about like a youth 5 meter, 10 meter exactly. precision right. yeah. gun. Absolutely. Exactly. Affordable. Know, yeah, affordable. And I know a lot of, no, take no offense, Tom, a lot of old guys <laughs> really like this because it's what so... What do you mean old? Yeah, yeah. Uh, exactly what I said. Take no offense. But a lot of older guys like this because it's so easy to cock. It is easy. Super easy to cock, great for your basement. 
shooting, you know, shooting short range precision. Because this was a precision shooting gun, not just a quick. Now this one just arrived at the beginning of the shot show. Mm -hmm. The people here have not had a chance to test it yet. Yeah. So before it goes to the market, they're going to shoot the heck out of it. Oh, they're yeah. going to find out if it works the way it looks like it does, and especially what the accuracy is, because they're very concerned with that. One of the things I'll say, having owned an ICH-61, this feels more sturdy. Yes, this feels does. better constructed. It has a better stock, I yeah. think. It, it's just, it fills the hand a lot better. So that's actually pretty cool. And feel the weight of that. It's not, a, it doesn't that's feel like a plastic toy. No, if they keep it anything like an ICH, then it should be fantastic. Like it's nice and solid, it doesn't feel, you know, like it's going to fall apart in my hands. It's locked up. I mean, it's, it's said made not, not to, to use, yes. yes. <laughs> made not to use, yeah. I do like the magazine, though. I don't know if ICH mags will fit in that or not. That's a question somebody's asked. That's something we can find out with. Yeah, we can drop them to us. Yes. Sure. All right, well, let's go ahead and roll around the, the outside here. Sure. And move on to cool the stuff on the other side. All right. All right, Tom, we are standing right in the middle of, of, of the action here, so we're going to have to do this with traffic. Blocking here. traffic. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So you got two things here you want to talk about. Yes. Let's do the Dragonfly first. Okay. okay. Tell me about this gun. Well, what we have, Rick, is a wood and steel multi-pump pneumatic. Okay. And people will look at this receiver and they'll say, that kind of looks familiar. Yeah, it looks okay. just like the Storm Rider. Yeah, <laughs> right. that, that looks pretty That's cool. what they're saying. Yeah. But it's a multi-pump pneumatic made of wood and steel uh -huh. and a price that's quite a bit below the other ones that are on the market. Okay. Do we know what the suggested I, retail? I think they're going for around 180, 179, that's something not like bad. that. No, that's not, not bad. bad and is a, how many pumps? Is it eight or ten? Do you know? I don't know because I've never tested it, but my guess is it's like all the other ones. I got you. Yeah. It feels super solid. It does. And I love the open sights. Is it going to have the same magazine? Are you going to be able to run multi shot? I will see why you. It's got the same. It's got a single shot tray, so I think you probably can run multi shot. And that's something we don't have. That is, nope. If that's the case, that's going to be super exciting. Absolutely. Take a look at that. It's very super rigid. Light. Yeah. Yeah. It's you know, not heavy at all. I remember when I first met you in, in, in Virginia, this is years going way back. There was a gentleman there that used to shoot field target with a Sheridan. Yep. And if that's accurate, that would be a fun field target gun because <laughs> you don't need to carry a bunch of air. Sure. Right. You, know, you and just you just pump, pump it up, up and shoot. Yeah. yeah. That's, cool. that's very cool. I like it. Yeah. All right. So the other gun we want to talk about is the Hellboy. Okay. Just, and Tyler was talking to me about that. Yes. Right? I'm really excited for this one. So semi-automatic, sort of. It's got a good weight. BB rifle. Yes. Okay. Now I like BB rifles. You know, CO2, you're not going to get enough velocity to really do much anyway. Right. Exactly. So why have to drive a pellet? I mean, realistically, go with BBs, action simpler, it's more reliable, and I think you can just have more fun. Yeah. So I really yeah. like this. It's got no spec uh, buttstock. You can take this part off. Um, got your drop mag. Everything about this is just really nice. I think this is going to be a great seller for everybody. You sold me. Yeah. Where do I sign up? Yeah, right. The way you drive, or what what this really drives, which is new, we're gonna go over there. Yeah. The new Dust Devil BBs. Okay. Oh, yeah. Frangible BBs, so now you can shoot steel targets or something like this. Put your eye out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let's go take a look. Tell me what you got here. The Dust Devil BB is a frangible BB. What that means is when it hits something solid like concrete or steel or even hard wood, it does not bounce back. It explodes into dust. You don't get anything coming back at you. And they've got a hologram running here in the booth that shows that. I have shot it against concrete floors. I've shot it into steel pellet traps. There's nothing that comes back. Also, it feeds through most BB guns. Okay. The one BB gun it won't feed reliably through is the double stack um, magazine. It has a little trouble at the top getting around because the BBs are not absolutely smooth. Okay. But they're supposed to be more accurate than standard steel BBs, and they're up to 10% faster because they are a little bit lighter. Well, I think with BBs, I've always found the velocity improves accuracy. Yes. For whatever reason, it likes it a little bit faster. So if it's a little faster and safer, that's a win. And I had brought this up because I saw this. This is a new target from Air Maturi. 
this is for like the cowboy action stuff. So I know Tyler was telling me that they take that semi-automatic Hellboy and just drill this thing out to 40 yards. Yeah, that's what he told me. I, I mean, that. Yeah. that sounds like a lot of fun. I think we get a few of these out in our range in Texas and just have a ball. But this, with that, with all the CO2 products. But don't try it with steel babies, folks. Right. So, that's the all big key. of us have been hit by rebound. Steel yeah. on steel is no good. And that's that's a big. That's why these were made. If Ralphie Parker had had Dust Devils, he would, he would have gotten his Red Rider from his mom. Yeah, exactly right. All right, this is not quite it. You have some huge news you want to talk to us about. I do. With some new licensing that you guys have. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to put this back. Okay. We'll reset over there. Right. I'll be right back, guys. All right, Tom. This yeah. was some of the big news. Um, Airventure secured Springfield. Licensing, is that right? Is that how that worked out? Yes, yes. Okay, it, so tell me what that means. For our viewers who don't know what that means, all right. what does that mean? When you want to manufacture a look-alike anything, mm -hmm. in this case air gun, you can't do it because Licensing. whoever makes the firearm owns the rights to the look and feel. So you have to have a licensing agreement. Air Venturi has got a licensing agreement with Springfield Armory who manufacture some of the coolest American oh, absolutely. firearms. You're holding one of them. He's holding an M1 carbine. Now, I'm sure you've all seen the blaze orange tip. That means this is an airsoft gun. So no big deal there, because most of us are not airsoft shooters. But Rick can tell you, this is a very realistic feeling rifle. Well, what I can tell you is that, first of all, this is real wood. It's real wood. And this is the real deal. It's all metal. Really great weight. It works. Beautiful action. You know, as a replica shooter, this gets me very excited. It, I would have the airsoft version if I couldn't have a BB or a pellet or whatever. Oh, well, I would definitely have the airsoft anyway. That's anyways. the news. Okay. Uh -oh. And they saw this. I, it's not something I said to them. I asked them, are you going to make a BB version? And they said, indeed, we are. Oh, Excellent. Awesome. We're going to make a BB firing version. So we've seen the Dust Devil yeah. BB. Right. Now we will have a true semi-automatic M1 carbine that'll shoot BB. Rick, we haven't had an M1 carbine BB gun since the 1960s when Crossman stopped making that model. It's such a nice replica. It's a big deal. It is a big deal. But that ain't all. OK. This. Is an M1A. Okay. Now this is a, again an airsoft M1A, okay. but over here in the case is a wood and steel M1A. Okay. And they're going to make that into a BB gun. Okay. Very, very, but that ain't all. Okay. Oh. Because when we were talking, they slipped and said, and we think we're going to make it in PCP Ooh. and make it super accurate. So we will have an M1A that's like a sniper rifle. You could shoot field target with an M1A pellet rifle. That would be, you know, can you imagine pellet that? Rifle. But don't let any, you have to run open sights. Yes. Like you open sight field target, <laughs> that would be the I, I think the thinking right now is to go with a SOCOM yeah. model so you. they can put a scope on it. Yeah, that's what I think yeah that thinking. makes sense. Personally, I like the wood and steel model myself. Yes. So that's because I'm an old guy. I, I'm, I'm, Absolutely. All right, guys. Well, I guess that's going to wrap it up. Tom, as always, thank you so much for hanging out with us today and showing us around. And guys, keep an eye out for Air Venturi. Of course, you're going to be able to get all this stuff at pyramidair.com. I guess that's going to wrap things up for I us. Think so. My name is Rick Euster here with Airgun Web and Airgun Web TV. And I'm Aaron the Barbarian with Airgun Web and Airgun Web TV. Thanks for watching.